In this sketch, we'll cover mitosis, a type of cell division resulting in the creation of two completely identical daughter cells. Somewhere in a galaxy far away, we're starting the development of Sketchutopia, a top secret cosmic politan community. Now, it's up to our builder to create something far out of this world. Huh. So, what do you need to know about mitosis? Let me first remind you that most eukaryotic cells undergo mitosis. Germ cells go through another kind of cell division called meiosis, but that's covered in a separate sketch. Before we dive into the individual stages of mitosis, here's a brief recap of the cell cycle. The cell cycle has two main parts, interphase and the mitotic phase consisting of mitosis and cytokinesis. Remember that the cell grows in size and generates a copy of its DNA during interphase. Another finding is that chromatin is loosely packed to permit transcription of genes. To show that, we drew some loosely arranged building materials. Well, that doesn't look up to code. There's also a nucleolus, shown here by this planet-destroying laser. Oopsie. I mean satellite. Yeah, satellite. The nucleolus is a spherical body located inside the nucleus that's always present during interphase. The nucleolus is responsible for producing and assembling ribosomes. Finally, these force fields will symbolize the nuclear envelope and cell membrane, respectively. We'll continue to monitor them along the way. So, now we're ready to start mitosis. With that said, here's our builder's fancy floating sign to help you recall the stages of mitosis. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Mitosis begins with prophase. During prophase, chromatin condenses into identical sister chromatids, so much that you can see them under a light microscope or in space, like these building materials. This step is utterly imperative because highly condensed chromosomes are less likely to break and are easier to pull apart. Another key finding is that the nuclear envelope starts breaking down. Well, they should have called that number to save 15% or more on, um, force field? Insurance? Oh well, it doesn't make sense to have a nuclear envelope at any rate. The same thing can be said about the nucleolus, since protein synthesis isn't the priority right now. See ya! But prophase isn't done just yet. Organelles known as centrosomes travel to opposite ends of the cell. They function as the primary microtubule organizing center. These spaceships will help you remember the centrosomes. They'll direct how the building materials move around the station. Each centrosome consists of a pair of cylindrical microtubules called centrioles. These structures look just like churros. Mmm, churros. Anyways, spindle fibers extend from the centrioles and help assemble the spindle apparatus. There are three kinds of spindle fibers, or microtubules. Polar microtubules extend from the centrosomes and overlap each other at the center. They help move the spindle apparatus apart during mitosis. Astral microtubules extend from the centrosomes to the cell membrane. To remember astral microtubules, we drew these ropes facing the stars. And lastly, kinetochore microtubules bind to kinetochores. Remember that kinetochores hook onto the centromeres. And the centromeres, well, they link up the sister chromatids. All right, now that we've got all our X's hooked up, we can move on to the next stage, metaphase. The sister chromatids are now in their fully condensed form and line up at the metaphase plate. Once they're given the AOK, -okay, the sister chromatids are pulled apart to opposite poles during anaphase. And finally, we get to telophase. In telophase, the spindle fibers disappear and the nuclear envelope forms again. All right, despite completing mitosis, we still need to separate the cytoplasm and organelles into two daughter cells. This is known as cytokinesis. During cytokinesis, an actomyosin ring made up of actin, myosin, and other proteins pinch down on the cell to create a cleavage furrow, allowing the cells to finally separate. And that, my friends, is how you split a station. So I'm gonna fly away before that satellite comes back. Here's a rapid rundown. Mitosis is a type of cell division that produces two genetically identical diploid daughter cells from each parent cell. Mitosis comes right after interphase and is divided into four stages. 
prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, followed by cytokinesis. In prophase, chromatin condenses into sister chromatids, the nuclear envelope starts breaking down, the nucleolus disappears, and the spindle apparatus begins the assembly process. In metaphase, the sister chromatids line up along the metaphase plate. In anaphase, the sister chromatids are pulled apart. In telophase, the spindle fibers go away and the nuclear envelope reappears before the parent cell fully splits into two daughter cells by cytokinesis.